This is James Joseph Raymer again. And um, China, the president of China and all your family and all your workers, do not lock up anybody and do not hurt anybody really at all. We could hurt them a little bit. Just a little bit. That we are taking all the drugs out of all the islands, the United States of America, Mexico, and all of Africa and all around, I mean completely, we're going to clean this whole world up. That's my goal. And I'm planning on the president of China to get his workers to completely sneak attack up through the United States of America, completely sneak attack the Mexican mosquitoes, the Mexican mafia, the underground drug labs and all that. We're going to burn them to the fucking ground and, and they're going to watch the labs burn to the fucking ground. We're not going to lock nobody up and we're not going to hurt nobody. But we're going to take all the drugs and we're going to burn all the laboratories and all the labs and all the drugs. We're going to burn it all to the fucking ground. China, it gives you something to do way more than you've ever had to cross this country, the United States of America, and to fuck with Mexico. They're flooding our country full of drugs. So much drugs that Every single Mexicano is carrying 100 pounds of crack cocaine in backpacks every day. About a thousand of them come in this country every day like that. And ugh, this is the most dirtiest poison drug. And the Mexican mosquitoes are working with all the whole federal government. I know you know they're dirty people, but we got to clean them up no matter what. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is here. He's the most powerful God in the universe. And he's above me right now. And he's in my body holding my heart up. I had a massive heart attack. So China, remember that we do care about you and love you with all our hearts and souls. And we need somebody like China and all their workers from China to get some big guys, big Chinese guys, to sneak attack the Mexican mosquitoes and the Mexican cartelas. I'm not joking at all. To grab them up, to completely take the drugs off them, out of them, out of their pockets. Wipe them down, pat them down, let them go. Give them a few minutes where we burn the labs to the ground, all the drugs to the ground. We can get information from people. Where is this at? Where is that at? If we capture one or two, you know, for a few minutes we can capture one and scare them into a corner. And that's all it is. We're not locking up nobody. I don't believe in locking up nobody because pieces of shit lock up people. And I don't, I don't, I've never locked up nobody in all of eternity of my life. Never have. No matter what happened to me. So the thing is, it's not in my heart and soul to lock up nobody. And I'll never be a police officer and I'll never lock up nobody at all. And the thing is, is that these Mexican mosquitoes are very sneaky and dirty and let me tell you something how they work and operate the drugs come over by millions of pounds and for grams in the united states of america it sells for over 100 200 for the grams and it comes over by millions of pounds and these people think that we're going to keep living like this we're not the president of china is in the united states of america we got the president of North Korea here that'll send a whole bunch of big um, North Koreans into the Mexican mosquitoes. We're going to have to clean this country up. And we're going to get to the bottom of it with this drug shit because that's the only way they live and survive. And we're done with this shit. We're done with all this bullshit. It's so deep a shit that fucking what we got to do is make sure Mexico's got money. And take all the drugs and all the booze and all the poison and all the Oxycontin and all everything out of Mexico. Every single fentanyl pill. And it, there's so much down there you're not going to even believe the pharmacies they have down there in Mexico. Now Donald Trump believes that those are his best friends. Yeah, sure they are Donald Trump. There's over 1 billion different gangs in Mexico that will fucking completely beat the shit out of you. And fucking throw your body behind a dumpster. It's the Mexican fucking mafia. 
the biggest ones in the world you don't even fucking talk about. You can't even talk around them. You can't even walk around them. You can't even get in their business at all. And the thing is, is Donald Trump, if you really think that I'm not going to be able to beat this fucking case, I promise you upon my face, it's alligator and pure crocodile teeth hanging out of an alligator's mouth. And let me tell you, in South America, I'm ready. I'm ready to clean up South America and Mexico. I'm, I'm ready to clean up Texas. I'm ready to clean up all these underground big fat and all labs in Houston, Texas. I'm ready to go there with China, and I'm ready to, honest to God, start collecting my money on this lawsuit because it's a federal lawsuit that I won so deep. Now there's these giant holes and pockets in the United States of America everywhere, giant fentanyl labs and underground labs for ecstasy and all sorts of crack cocaine and heroin balls and all sorts of shit that's going on. And they've got so much guns and weapons and ammunition that you're looking at the world's largest world war to get these motherfuckers out of here even with the drugs. So you're looking at the world's largest world war to clean up this whole country right now. I'm willing to go with China and North Korea and I'm willing to go with Canada and Poland, Germany and Iceland and completely get some real big, big tactic guys. And lay some of these Mexican mosquitoes out on their fucking backs and their heads. Completely flip them over like turtles, okay? And what we're going to have to do is take all their drugs and burn them to the fucking ground. Now the problem is, is that all the cops and officers, the police officers are working with all these Mexicanos moving all the drugs. They're going to be completely fucking, they've got to be fucking slapped in the face. They've completely got to be stopped. Stopped right now in their tracks in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that these drugs have been killing kids and killing teenagers for eternity Zion and it's time to stop forever For eternity Zion. It's time to change this country around China wants to build giant Electric trains that go three four hundred miles per hour underground in the United States of America You want to build high-rises in a couple big casinos here in China? Well, I just won $500 trillion. The country is flooded with pure raw fentanyl, and I died and I lived to tell the truth about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's here with me in my body, holding my heart up. Now, uh, everybody, it's very, very serious to listen to me that Africa needs food and water and a lot of clothing and a lot of money. And the way that we're going to have to do this is work together. All the presidents and all the bosses around the whole wide world, please work together with each other and do what Jesus would do before Jesus Christ of Nazareth completely starts controlling your mind, if you get what I'm talking about. Because if you can't control your mind and do the right thing, he'll start controlling you, and then you'll do the right thing. He's that powerful. So what we're going to have to do is get in touch with the whole world on the internet, by phone, the presidents all contact each other. They all know what's going on with this big mega lawsuit. Now this is $500 trillion. Whether that cash is down there or it's not, I filed it. Okay, they think I'm dreaming. I won the lawsuit. There's no dreaming about kids dying with fentanyl. I'm a kid, I'm a child, I'm a young man. I'm. The federal government's making millions of pounds of this stuff, putting it in the streets. They're in so much trouble that that's why they got caught. 